So here we have the Ford Ranger on a 71 plate. I'm gonna start off by showing you some controls inside the car, uh, first of all. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. In the middle, we have the speedometer, beneath which we'll show you what gear this car is currently in. It's an automatic and we're in park at the moment, of course. Over on the right-hand side, we have the rev counter, we have the fuel gauge, and you can see the total miles for this car, which are 11,454. On the left-hand side, uh, we can change the information displayed over there for the navigation information, our phone or entertainment, which is the menu that we were on initially. If we back out to the steering wheel, the buttons to do that are here. These buttons will change the information over on the right-hand side of the steering wheel uh, for things including the digital readout for the speedometer, as you can see there. We have stereo and phone controls on the left and cruise control and speed limiter on the right. Over in the center, you'll find the stereo itself. So this is where you can add your phone. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. And just follow the instructions on screen from there. Uh, we can access our audio menu and you'll see there's a number of ways you can listen to music in this car. We have AM, FM and DAB radio. Bluetooth audio, so you can stream your music wirelessly as well as making and receiving phone calls. And we have two separate USB inputs. If you plug devices into those, they will appear up on here as further options for you as well. Uh, if we can go back to the home screen from here, we can also access our satellite navigation. Nice clear color display, as you can see. We've done a full video showing how this works, which you can find on our website and on our YouTube channel as well. Working our way down, we then have the main volume for the stereo. Uh, we can skip tracks, pause from here as well. And beneath that, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. Any adjustment you make will show on the screen for a couple of seconds as you make it. Once you're happy with all of those settings, this button turns your air conditioning off in this case, or back on again, or you can hit auto. The car will now maintain the temperature you've asked for override the temperature you've asked for um, by taking full control of the fan speed and the direction of the air for you we've got our rear heated screen our front heated screen driver's heated seat with three heat settings and the same for the passenger side we have a 12 volt charging socket on either side here the two usb inputs i mentioned just a moment ago and then these buttons down here so you can turn off the stop and start you can turn on and off the parking sensors as well then we have various downhill or off-road controls, uh, things like downhill brake control, for example, your traction control, uh, differential controls, and you've got four-wheel drive and two-wheel drive controls just here next to the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.